The day I was born was the day the world collapsed. Those that survived had to make new lives underground. Up above, there was nothing but ash and cold and death. People thought it would last forever, but without us up there, life returned. I was six years old the first time I saw the sun. Mom and Dad were heartbroken by what they saw. The world they'd known gone forever. But not me. I'd never seen anything so perfect. We weren't the only ones who'd survived, and slowly but surely, our little community grew. It wasn't always easy, but for a time, there was peace and prosperity. A new home, a new life, a new normal. But like all things in this world, it was too good to last. The highwaymen came from the east, led by a pair of sisters, twins. Said they'd heard about our little paradise. Said they wanted it for themselves. We never stood a chance. They took everything from us, our food, our homes, our people. We needed a miracle. And that's when we heard the name Thomas Rush. He and his captain had been up and down the West Coast helping folks like us rebuild. And they were on a train headed right through Hope County. Mom sent me to find them, convince them to help us take our home back. They were our last hope, our salvation. But it all went horribly wrong. And you're alive! Jesus! They're heading this way! Get up, Captain! Come on, get up! What's the fucking highwaymen? They're gonna kill us! Get up, Captain! Get up! Jesus, Barnes, just keep screaming like that, you're gonna bring them all down on us. Rush, you're alive! Help me! No, we have no time, we gotta go! Barnes, we are not leaving the cabin behind. They're coming fast. We need to stick together. Understood? Cap. Your time to shine. We need to get armed. We need to get our people. And we need you to find our way out of here. I know. Yeah, easier said than done. One step at a time, Barnes. You lead, we'll follow. Well, miss. Prosperity needs oh specialists. I thought it was dead. Just like the people we had them. Find the armory way. You're up. Save as many people as we can. This way, Barnes. Stick with the captain. We should cut our losses and run. We'll be fine. There's more to be saved. Close, Barnes. Oh, hey, hang in there. We're not done. Stay together. Keep looking. 
everybody. Santa delivered a whole damn train full of presents. <sighs> what do we have here? Rabbits. Ooh. I gotta ask you rabbits a question. The fuck you think was gonna happen? Riding in on a giant hunk of iron, just clouds of black smoke. You think we wouldn't notice? What do you want, Barnes? We wanna know. If your problem solvers, a problem makers. What? <laughs> Our pops always told us that people either solve problems or make problems. The world's got too many fucking problems. And we're looking for people to help solve problems. Uh, our problems. If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Food, clothes, guns. <laughs> Anything you need. <laughs> Even health insurance. <laughs> but if you make problems well, Pops taught us what to do with problem makers. Problem makers need to be solved. Mm -hmm. Old man solved a shit ton of problems in his day. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, rabbits. Are you all problem solvers or problem makers? We solve problems. We've been solving problems all over this country. Barnes. We can give you fresh water, build shelters. We can get you anything you need. Barnes, shut up. 
You can build all that? Well, I'm not me. But Rush here. Well, then you are gonna be our number one problem solver. Go fuck yourself. Huh. Okay. <laughs> this again you're gonna help solve problems for us mr. rush hmm. okay You from the train, you're captain of security, right? I'm Carmina. Oh my god, I saw you hit the water and I was able to pull you out before you drowned, but near as I can tell, I think we're the only ones who got away. Come on. Okay. We have to be careful. The twins, they took off with Rush, but a lot of the highwaymen, they stuck around. Okay, we... We have to get back to Hope County. My mom, my mom, she'll know what to do. Come on. Hello there, miss. Some time. Come on, we just need to follow the river to get to Hope County. I can't believe what happened. They must have seen the train coming. I should have known better. Those fucking twins, Mickey and Lou. The first time I saw them was when they came to our house. They said it was their house now. And we could either leave willingly, or they'd burn it down with us inside. Fuck. There's a tunnel up there that leads... The highwaymen are blocking our way in. We're gonna need some firepower. Let's keep moving. My dad tried to fight. So, they took him. Then they took the house. My mom and I were forced to start over on our own. We weren't their only victims. But my mom managed to bring survivors together and we all tried to build a place where we'd be safe. There's a workbench inside. You can use it to build a weapon. Rush was supposed to be the final piece so that we could finally fight back. But now, we're worse off than we were. I'm sorry about the people. I promise I'll figure out a way to make this right. There's that workbench I told you about. Rush said you were resourceful, so let's build something. You can use benches like this to build makeshift. Yeah, we need more resources. We're gonna have to poke around and scare some up. Check in the corner.
Holy shit, is that some kind of saw launcher? That's amazing. Man, those highwaymen are in for it now. Now we're ready to attack the bridge. <sighs> Watching the derby's a fucking rush. That was too close. Go home. Come on, we're almost there.
There it is. Home. I hope Mom is okay. Kids, go back inside. I'll be right there. What's wrong? There is a whole train full of people to help us. But... The highwaymen? The twins? They took Rush? Everyone else was killed. Oh my god. It was terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I never should have gone out there, Mom. I... Oh, honey. What are we gonna do now? I, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I mean, no one's coming to help us. We're on our own. It's just us. Shh. Let's get you both inside. You can tell me the whole story. Thank you for bringing her home. 